Your lips are stained the color of pomegranate. Like you've been consuming something tough and small for a very long time, hoping to feel full. I offer you the field of ripe strawberries that are my lips. Taste the wind and the sun in every breathless embrace. There is a darkness in the arch of your eyeshadow tonight, thematic of every woman who ever left me first. I get scared sometimes. Recollections have that power. You are not a recollection. I do not hold you to my fear to drip like wax against heat. It's just me trying to trust me again. You kiss me like you know what being in love on Christmas morning is like, and you fuck me like you know what being in love with a careless person is like. Like, if you don't show me what you're capable of now, there's a chance I won't go looking for it later, and you want to be seen, remembered, returned to. There is something in the way you tug at the zipper on the costume of who I am, asking me to step out or let you in. Your delight has rumbled awake a giant in me who has been waiting to play with someone her own size. There is a voice inside of me that wants to whisper to you all the pretty promises I have never been able to keep. Our promises have left room for disappointment like they were expecting company. So what can I say to you that I can't build an argument against? This is the battle I'm currently waging because I have told many women that the elephant in the room is only origami and to pay it no mind. I have been wanted before, been the best thing that's ever happened to at least three people. I have been through hell and back to keep my loves alive and I have never succeeded. I want this time to be different. So here's what I ask of you. If there really is a God and he's up there taking role and making everyone explain themselves before they can walk through the pearly gates and into heaven. Love me like it is the only thing you will be judged upon. All right, I got two, two more for you tonight.